Entropy of Metabolism An average sleeping person metabolizes at a rate of about 80 watts by digesting food or burning fat. Typically, 20% of this energy goes into bodily functions such as cell repair, pumping blood and other uses of mechanical energy, while the rest goes to heat. Most people get rid of all this excess heat by transferring it by conduction and the flow of blood to the surface of the body where it is radiated away. The normal internal temperature of the body where the metabolism takes place is 37 degrees Celsius and the skin is typically 7 degrees Celsius cooler. By how much does the person's entropy change per second due to this heat transfer? Okay, so 80% of the 80 watts goes into heat per second. So that would be 0 0.8 times 80, 64 watts. That is Q divided by T. That is 64 joules per second. Now, in, uh, when the heat reaches the skin, the entropy change of the skin per second will be uh, minus 64 divided by the temperature of the skin. The temperature of the skin is 30 degrees Celsius, which is 30 plus 273.15, that is 303.15 Kelvin. So this is 303.15. And the entropy change of the interior of the body uh, per second will be plus 64, the metabolism produces this heat, divided by the temperature of the interior, which is 37 degrees Celsius, 37 plus 273.15, that is 310.15 Kelvin. So this is 310.15. Now we see the total entropy change, delta S total per second, will be 64 times minus 1 over 303.15 plus 1 over 310.15 and this gives us uh, 64 times minus 7 7 degrees change uh, 310.15 times 303.15 that's equal to minus 4.8 times 10 to minus 3 joules per Kelvin per second. So we see that the total entropy uh, change rate is minus 4.8 times 10 to minus 3 watts per Kelvin. Now, how can we explain that the entropy change is negative? Delta S total is negative well we're not considering the heat provided to the ambient and uh, that will have a contribution to the entropy change of the universe so a person is not an isolated system so you cannot argue that the entropy change of the person should be positive but the entropy change of the universe should be positive. Therefore, this does not violate the second law of thermodynamics. All right, we talked about entropy of metabolism. So an average sleeping person, that's basal metabolic rate, is 80 watts, digesting food, burning fat. Typically, 20% of this energy goes into bodily functions and the rest goes to heat. So 80% of 80 watts, 64 watts goes to heat. This excess heat is transferred to the surface of the body where it is radiated away. The excess heat is introduced in the interior and 
and then it will it is radiated away from the surface of the body the temperature difference between the internal temperature 37 degrees celsius the skin 30 degrees celsius is 7 degrees celsius temperature difference how much does the person's entropy change per second due to this heat transfer in the interior we are producing 64 watts of power if at a temperature of 310.15 Kelvin, so delta S interior is uh, Q divided by T, constant temperature, and at the skin we are um, radiating away 64 watts power at a constant temperature 303.15 Kelvin. Delta S total is the sum of these two, which is minus 4.8 10 to minus 3 watts per Kelvin. But uh, this it is negative, but this since a person is not an isolated system, this doesn't imply that delta S of the universe is negative. If you consider the energy provided to the ambient, uh, so the ambient temperature and absorption of this energy by the ambient, you would find delta S of the universe is positive. So this result does not violate the second law of thermodynamics.